What's up guys? We are back for another episode of What's Cooking. So tonight we are having breakfast for dinner. I do this a lot, A, because breakfast foods are awesome, B, they're usually pretty easy. So tonight we are doing potato broccoli egg casserole. And I have on my little card here notes because I am changing the recipe quite a bit than what's written. Um, I'm using it as like a guideline almost to like what I'm putting in it and how long to bake it and like that kind of stuff, but I'm changing things around a little bit. So I have my notes on the back so I know what I'm changing. Um, and so what are our ingredients today? Well, we've got eggs. I am kind of halving this recipe. It says to use 12 eggs. I don't need to make 12 eggs, but I'm using eight because the recipe also calls for ham. And Jackson and myself are not a huge fan of ham. Plus ham is pretty processed. And so I tend to stay away from things that are really processed like ham. So instead of halving the eggs completely and using six, I'm gonna use eight. So two eggs is one serving of protein. So each of us will have two eggs. Um, it also calls for frozen shredded hash browns. I am just going to grate my own potatoes. I have three potatoes here. Um, I've got a head of broccoli. It does say use frozen broccoli. I'm using fresh. And a red pepper, onion. And we've got some garlic and some other seasonings. And instead of mixing the eggs with um, like heavy cream and milk, I am going to mix them with some Greek yogurt and some milk instead, probably some almond milk, just cause I like baking with almond milk, but you can use any milk you want. So I am gonna get started. I'm going to shred my potatoes and get my vegetables all diced up and I'll be back to tell you the rest in a minute. Okay, we're back. So in this pan, I have sauteed the red onion or the red pepper, the onion and some garlic, just in a little olive oil instead of butter. And in here I have shredded my potatoes and I have half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, half a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, and I put that in there. So now we're gonna start layering. And I also cut up my broccoli. So I just have a nine by 13 that I spray with cooking spray. And I'm gonna put all these potatoes down on the bottom. Spread them out evenly. Don't press them down because then that can they can burn on the bottom. So you don't want to press them into the pan unless the recipe calls for that. This one doesn't. So uh, we're just going to spread them out evenly. And then we are going to layer on our red pepper onion mixture. of the potatoes and then over that we're gonna put our broccoli and in the recipe it does say to split up your potato mixture but because I'm not using as much as they called for I'm just doing one layer uh, if you were following the recipe exactly after the broccoli you would put another layer of the potato mixture so that's that and now I'm going to get my egg mixture mixed together and then we're going to pour that over the top and put it in the oven. So I'll be back to let you know what's all in the egg. Okay, so I have mixed up my egg mixture. I've got eight eggs in here, half a cup of Greek yogurt, half a cup of milk. I used almond milk, but you can use whatever kind of milk you want, salt and pepper. Um, I've made a few of these egg casseroles before and I have found that mixing the eggs with Greek yogurt in addition to the milk really makes a difference. It makes the eggs like super fluffy and really light. So I've kind of adapted all of these like egg casserole recipes to include Greek yogurt because it just, they taste so much better. So we're just going to pour this over our vegetables in this pan here. I'm going to get all that good stuff out of there. Get my spoon. I just used the same bowl that I had the potatoes and cheese in. I'm going to the same place anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So 
we just mix that. And then we are going to sprinkle another half a cup of uh, shredded cheddar and half a cup of mozzarella on top. And then we're just gonna pop it in the oven. Um, I will probably start baking it at, well, it's at 350. I'll probably put it in for about 25 to 30 minutes and then check it. Uh, since I'm changing the recipe a little bit, I'm obviously not gonna cook it as long as they have. Also, they're using 12 eggs. So I will check it after about a half an hour and then I will be back to show you the rest. <laughs> 